Hi, it's me, Josephine, and today I'm showing you the 10 favorite toys of my Waldorf baby daughter. And I will also tell you with what she's actually still playing. She's two years old now. After this video, you will know what was worth to buy for my daughter and what wasn't. Let me know in the comments down below what are your child's favorite toys from zero to one. I'm really, really interested in that. I hope you enjoyed this video. So let's get started. I've got here a little basket with some toys. So the first I'm going to show you, it's a little blanket. I made this blanket actually by myself. There are a lot of play silks out there and play silk does not always mean that it has to be actually silk. Silk can be quite expensive and that's why to have some fabric like cotton is a great other option. Also great for any parent who is vegan. This one is a very big one. I have smaller ones and bigger ones but the smaller ones are used right now so I couldn't take them to show you them. And when my daughter was really, really young, like a very, very small baby, I preferred to give her the shorter ones because with the big ones, of course, if the baby is tangled, then this could, yeah, get a little dangerous. But to show you that we have fabrics made out of cotton, I grabbed now a bigger one here. And I really, really love that because you can't really see it from there, but you can look through it the sun is shining through it you can breathe through it that was very important to me i did not want to use anything unnatural like polyester to me it was really important that my daughter is able to breathe through if she really actually pulls it over her face she also has some of them made out of silk but like i already said this can be quite expensive not everybody can afford that and you don't have to feel bad you still are able to give your child something. And if you just have a t-shirt you don't wear anymore and cut out some piece of fabric and sew around, that is fine. If you can't sew and you just leave it like that, that is also fine. Kids love just to feel the different kinds of texture. And then I have directly number two. We've got balls. I made them by myself. I crocheted them. This small ones here, those both are made out of cotton. And the bigger one is made of hemp. It feels a little bit different. It's not a huge difference, but there is a little different. But for me, it was more um, about having this feeling of all these knots because of the crochet and how that feels and how it feels against a fabric like this. And that is just very, very interesting and beautiful for those little hands to feel all of those differences. And the next I want to show you is this one. This is from the brand Grimm's. These are little berries. And it is kind of like a bracelet. You can wear it like this. That was really, really good for me when I had to go and change my daughter somewhere out, like in a restaurant. I could just put this around my wrist and grab her and the stuff, what I had to carry. And it was just so much easier than if you have to hold another thing. And then when I was actually changing her diaper and wanted to give her something to play, I always could give her that. It was just really, really, really handy to have that. And I feel like it looks kind of like like berries to me it looks like berries especially in this color <laughs> they have it in different kinds of color they also have it in black and white and they have it in the more bright colors these are the pastel colors i'm not sure in which other colors they have it but they have always things in so many different kinds of colors and sometimes they change out the colors so you should really look for that if you're interested in something like this it is really nice to have the next i want to show you are those roots this root i have it also here with a whole thing to clip it on the child but my daughter never liked that so i usually gave it to her just like that she was not eating it completely or something like this she was really actually holding it biting on it and this is really really helpful when your child is teething it helps against the pain and my daughter really really loved to bite on that it was a huge help and 
you have to clean it sometimes not really not really with water but you just grab a knife and you cut off what doesn't look very pretty anymore to make sure that there are no bacteria or any mold because it is a natural product so it can create mold if you're sucking on it constantly and the next favorite of her toys is this one here it is really great just to feel on it because it is actual silk it's a silk fairy but also great to suck on the head and it helped against teething and it also made her calm if she was very tired and fuzzy and in a moment where we just could not give her what she wanted and it really really helped her a lot really great toy i love it then what you might have heard already from other parents they give their kids pots and pans. I did that too, but I also have the smaller version here. Little babies love to make sound with that. They just hit it or they just feel it open and close, hide something under it, inside and explore. It is a lot of fun and this set actually came also with a colander what is really good to let water run through it and because it is all stainless steel it is also a great toy you can easily take into the water and take a bath with it the next toy i want to show you is this here these are actually two toys different toys but they have kind of the same effect these are wooden rattles this one here is of the company grooms and it has gemstones inside and as it rattles very soft and very gentle this one here is something that was a present it was gifted to us and i have no idea what the brand is but it is also absolutely natural but it makes a way louder sound and different sounds that is also something very very interesting and great for the little ones of course, it is kind of better if the kid is actually able to see what makes the sound because it's easier to understand because the kid wants to understand and explore the world and wants to know, oh, why does it do that? How does it do that? How does this work? But inside of what you can't really actually look inside, you can also use some little glass jars and do it with that. I would not use anything with plastic near my child, but that is everybody's own choice. And um, if you do it with glass, you have to be, of course, you have to be careful so the child doesn't get hurt, especially when they are so young. That's why I felt more comfortable giving something made out of wood. And the next I'm going to show you is this rubber fish. And it is natural caoutchouc, it is natural rubber, and my daughter, was bringing it always, always in the bathtub and she loved to bite on that because whenever she was teething, that had to be there. And the same with this boat. This is also natural rubber. This is from the brand Ollie and Carol. And because it doesn't have any holes, you can easily bring it with you in the bathtub so your child can just continue biting on it. And because my daughter was biting so much on that, I was really scared that she would bite a hole inside and there is actually no hole even though she was using it so long and biting so much inside and the last natural rubber toy i have here is from sophie the giraffe and i got that one for her because the other ones they have this hole and i read a lot online about creating mold inside and that's just something i did not want to have in my life so I looked, is there any other option of those Sophies without any holes? And then finally I got what I wanted and I found that one. And it's also absolutely natural rubber. And even though it doesn't have a hole, I never allowed my daughter to bring this one in the bathtub because I just read so much about Sophie la giraffe and all the mold. And then I was just, I just had such a feeling that I did not want to have that in our bathtub. This has different textures and was also a great help when my daughter was teething usually she just bit in the face <laughs> that was her favorite but yeah <laughs> and then i made her 
this carrot out of old scrap fabric and I fill it with even more scrap fabric. You could also fill it with wool to be a little more wide off, but I'm also very eco, so I just kept the scraps and filled it up with that. But saved me a lot of money and is also a great option for every Valdo parent who is a vegan. And my daughter loves to bite on this and to play with it, and it's a carrot. It's just a carrot. And now her absolute favorite. It is the doll! <laughs> and bite of doll! Hi! <laughs> so this doll used to have a knot here on the head. It doesn't have it anymore. My daughter has actually more than one of them because these are her absolute favorite toy. She was sucking on their face, on the head, on the hands, on the feet and it is just her sucky doll. It's also her little baby because she could later pretend that this is her baby and walk around with this doll. This is just an awesome toy and I really, 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 really love it as much as my daughter because it's just so cute. And I really think that it is very important that the Waldorf dolls stick with their face. Very, very simple because this is just what is so important about Waldorf dolls, that they have this very simple face and are also made with the right materials. So this doll is filled with wool and is made with organic cotton. It is made in Germany. It is from the brand Alana. You can't really read it well anymore, but I'm trying to show you. So this is her absolute favorite. And now let's talk about what of all of the things I just showed you she's actually using. And this is pretty easy to answer. Everything. She's two years old and she's using everything. She is using those balls. Now for her balls, what I also made to sort, so she can sort the balls in the bowls. I probably pronounce it wrong again because that's just very hard when you're German to try to pronounce the difference between bowls and balls. It just sounds kind of the same when I say it. I don't know why. <laughs> and she also uses those rattles because she has her music basket. We have it right here next to me where her music instruments are inside and they are part of that. She also uses the carrot and her pots and pans in her kitchen play. And this is something she uses sometimes in her kitchen play as the grapes, but also sometimes as jewelry. So she mostly has it with her jewelry toys, where her hair clips are, her brush, and then she can pretend to make herself a little more pretty. She still has sometimes the thing that she's sitting somewhere and she gets just so, so tense and she, she wants to bite on something and then she is very happy if she still has those and it makes her really, really calm and very, very happy. This is sometimes something she uses more now as a bracelet than to bite on it, but she also bites on it, but it's more like a bracelet for her now. The baby, like I already said, it's her absolute favorite. She carries it everywhere where she goes. So this was just the best thing I bought. <laughs> Those blankets, she's using them to put them on top of something or sometimes just on top of her. She likes usually to have them on top of her head and then she runs around like a ghost. And, and I tried to make sure that she doesn't hit herself anywhere because she's just, she doesn't see anything. She's just walking around like that. It's very cute and very funny. <laughs> And then we have the last little one here. And this is something she doesn't use like I thought she would, like a fairy or something, but she likes to throw it and it looks very interesting to her how it looks like when it's flying. Just try to show you. So these are her favorite toys and these are great toys for a little baby. And I hope that this video was helpful for you by making the choices, what are you actually going to buy for your little baby. These toys are really great for kids from zero to one. And like you see, 
also the older ones still like them and what is better than toys what you don't have to exchange soon again and if this video was any help for you then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so i will know it and if you're interested in more content about Waldorf, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a beautiful time i see you next time goodbye